Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM user exit. In today's session we will see one of the merge process user exit and that is post merge user exit. During the merge process we have only one user exit available and that is post merge user exit. So let's see what is the merge process and where the post merge user exit get executed so this is the diagram which shows the merge process actually runs in a block so we can see this is the block of code so first the merge job get registered once we execute the merge job the first block of the merge process will be get executed once it is successfully execution is complete the post merge user exit uh, executed and then commit will happen similarly then it will check if there is any other block available if it is block available then it will execute the the merge of for the next set of the match record in the block and then again it executed the post merge user exit commit that records and it will continue for the for the next records in that block Similarly, the last set of the records will be processed from the block and once it is successful, the post merge user exit again get executed. The commit will happen and again it will check whether any other block available for the merge and the process continues till the all the blocks process. After all successful process, the merge job will end. So those so, same sequence is mentioned in this uh, screen. The user exits run within the merge process in the following sequence. First, Informatica MDM Hub register the merge job. So, so whenever you start a merge job, it actually register the merge job. Then, uh, the Informatica MDM Hub merges the first set of matched records in the first block. So we know that the merge process runs in a block. So it will re first record will be merged from that first block. Then the post merge user exit will run, and then final uh, then the commit will happen. The same the step like two and four that is two to four that is uh, merging of the rec uh, merging of the record from the given set in the given block. Then the execution of the post merge user user exit and the committing of the changes those will have this this kind of uh, these steps will be get executed for the remaining block of the records once all blocks are successful if uh, like the next step is if informatica mdm hub has more blocks to merge the process returns to the step 2 which is nothing but informatica hub merge the record from the given block after all the processing of the records from the all the blocks the merge process will end now during which condition we have to use a post merge suppose a post merge user exit can be used in order to perform cluster processing after completion of the particular merging of the records for example in order to match or uh, in order to match and merge child records which are affected by the match and merge of the parent record we can use the post merge user exit so in order to process the child which are dependent on the parent and suppose the parent got merged then we can write a custom code in order to process the child corresponding to merge record the name of interface for the post merge is com.informatica.mdm.userexit.postmergeuserexit the method one which we need to override is it is ha it has a written type as void the name of method is process user exit the same process is available in all user exit however the signature is little bit different that is the parameters are little bit different the first parameter is very common that is user exit context and the second second parameter it is list of the base object row IDs. So, so what is this base object row IDs? It is a list of the base object row IDs 
which are involved for the merge process. So there must be a set of row IDs by those are involved into the merge process and which get finally converted into one of the final record. The first entry in this uh, in this uh, list is nothing but the target based object row ID. So which is the final row ID will be the winner that will be mentioned as a first entry in this list. The remaining entries in this list are source based object which are get merged during this merge process. So let's have a demo on this uh, post merge user exit. Let's have a look on the what is the uh, what is the sch schema we are going to use in our demo we are going to use customer and the address tables so customer had the first name last name cust id full name however the address table has address line one city country address id and the cust id it is very simple model we are going to use for our today's demo next thing we are going to write our java code for the post merge user exit we know that we have to implement the post merge user exit for our um, for writing our custom post merge post merge user exit. The name of our custom class is merge post post merge user exit UE. So how to create class? Right click on the package, new and the class. So you can provide here the name of class which is I already created. The name of class is po MDM post merge UE. UE and it implements post merge user exit. Then create the logger object. We can create the logger object like this log uh, public static logger log equal to logger dot get logger. Provide the name of class one which you are going to use dot class dot get name. So this will return one uh, class name. Then we have to override the process user exit me um, process user exit method which will have the user exit context and the map of first is a key uh, where the actually the record got uh, means winner or the final record and the list of strings which will be get merged into that winner record. So then we are just uh, mentioning the logger with the post merge user exit started then the table name we are returning table name from the user exit context then the base object already is one which you we got here we are printing to see all of them then we are checking if the this row id object is not null and if it is not null then we are getting the uh the key set so means we will get all the keys all the winner records then we are retrieving the key set or we are iterating the key set or uh or this all these keys and we will get the winner row id the winner row id uh, based on that we will get the corresponding all the row id base uh, base object row ids so which will be get merged into this winner row id Th that will be the list of the records and we are going to print those lists so the list will be printed uh, if you see the iterator 2 is there to get the all the match record so we got the matched uh, record ma uh, final match record and the over the record which is get merge so the final record will be record winner row id equal to all the match records so we are going to get this record finally what we are doing if this record whatever we just populated we are going to print in a one of the file the name of the file is merge so this is what we are doing we are just in this logic we actually getting the all the records which are get merged so that uh, we'll have the archive kind of thing. So whenever we want to row ID object to be sent to the business people, we can uh, have this logic to get the, all the merge record row ID object and send those to the business. So business will see if they want to have any issues. So this is the way we have got the, we are right. Uh, we have the file writer and the buffer writer, which are from the IO package of the Java. So if you know the core Java, so you will immediately come to know this is from the IO package. So this is the code. Now, once we are done with the codings, we have to right click and export this as a jar. 
So jar is available inside the Java project. Jar select jar. Click on the next. Uh, no need to select class path and project. Uh, then give the project name as where and the location where you want to save the project file. Click on the next and finish. Now if we uh, now we are going to deploy that recently created user exit jar file however sometimes we already might have deployed the user exit so you have to undeploy that select that before that make sure you have the right log select that just click on the uh, screen uh, this is minus sign to remove all this user exit which is already if it is not already present just click on this user exit the plus sign will be get enabled click on that now provide the one which uh, the jar file one which you just created and here give the your any name description for the user exit if it is successfully you have if you don't have any errors in your jar file or if you have successfully created the post merge user exit then this will be we will able to see the post merge user exit here MDM post merge user exit the second last. Now let's go and run our processes. So in order to run the post merge user exit, we have to run the merge of. However, in order to run the merge of, we have to first load the data through the stage and the load job. So quickly execute all these jobs. So we are just running the job. Uh, we got some error let me check that error so i got the issue so when i when i check the logs i come to know that database listeners was not up so this is what i can notice the tns listener could not find available handler for the matching protocol stack so this is what error i noticed so sometimes you might notice such kind of error i i could notice this error inside the hub server logs so if you see either this kind of error in the hub server log or the clean server log what you have to do you have to go to the services and check whether your oracle services are up or not so i manually restarted this uh, tns listener service and oracle service orcl so after restarting that i ran the job and now i can see there are two records got successfully processed so, so sometimes we get such errors so because of the some system issue or any other issue so make sure uh, your services are up so so it is always good idea to check your clean server and the hub server logs if whenever you get any error so something like we checked across so i found that error and uh, i thought i should share with all of you so now I'm running the load job, which is actually pushing the records from the staging table into the base object tables. Then I will run the tokenization job for the customer. It should be, uh, I think it should populate at least two tokens. Let's see. Yeah, it is populated two records for two tokens for the two records. Now I'm running the match. Oh, we have the already match uh, configured. So this is not important for us. That's why I'm quickly covering up. The, now the one record in the match queue, that means we got the match. So we'll run the merge process. So whenever you run the merge process, the post merge user exit will be get executed. So how to run the merge? merge? So we have the atom merge, but the record is in the manual queue. That means we have to go to the manual and manually run the job. If you run the auto merge job, so what are the records in the auto merge queue that will be get pushed you know, or that will get merged and then the post merge user exit will be executed. The post merge user exit will get executed for the both auto merge as well as for the manual merge. So let's go for the manual merging because our record in the manual merge queue. I'm selecting the base object as a customer. Let's get a count how many records. There is one record for the uh, ready to get merged. We'll go to the, select the package. We already created one put package for the customer. And let's start begin. So now I can see there are two records. And out of two, the winner record, I can see the highlighted will be the winning record. 
and uh, the merging record the record will be get uh, merge is uh, with this uh, row id one so let's merge so in order to merge at the right side of this uh, cell data screen you have the option to merge the unmerge record so if you click this so now at the top screen we can see the two records after merging there will be only one record so one pop-up came when i click on this merge button and if the pop-up is saying are you sure want to perform this merge i'll say yes but before doing that i would like to show something so if you see this location at this location this merge.txt file should get generated so let's have a look and see whether there is already present or not so now there is no merge.txt file present so what this will do what this means so when i run the post merge user exit this code should get executed and it should write uh, the winning record as well as the match record in that merge.txt file and that txt file should get generated at this given location so now uh, what i'll do i'll just click this s so that will the merge process will execute it let me see what are the details there is no single transaction and okay let me see i think there is one more issue let me quickly fix that issue i think that was like temporary issue i didn't did anything for to fix this issue but i when i click the next time and i uh, when i next time click the merge button i i click the yes on top of that and now i can see the screen the merge was successful and i click ok now i can see only one record so now we can see the whether the um, the file is generated or not yes now i can see the file is generated and i can see the winning record row id object that is two and the record got merge is one so this is the process by which you can implement the post merge user exit also we saw the couple of issues in this tutorial and how to fix those issue i hope this tutorial will helpful for helpful for you if you have any questions about the informatica mdm user exit or the idd you can mention in the video below you can subscribe my channel for more interesting update about the informatic MDM. Thank you for watching the video.